Every person in our society has the right for the pursuit of happiness. But the harsh reality is that there are people in our society that are vulnerable and lack basic needs to survive. Since 2004, the non-for-profit organization Casa Ruby has opened its doors for the LGBT community looking for a place to stay and human services in Washington, D.C. In the housing program, first they get intake, they have to do intake to come in into the Casa Ruby house. They interview each individual and determine if they fit this program. If they do, then they, uh, they fill out forms. They have to abide by the rules of this house. So once that process is taking place, then they go to the case management. The managers ask them, what are you trying to do for your life? What assistance can we give you? So if you need to get a high school diploma, if you need to get a job, whatever you need, psychological help, medical help, Anything that they need is here at Casa Ruby. There's four parts of the uh, housing program at Casa Ruby. We start with the first one, which is hypothermia. And what they do is they come in at six o'clock, they put their name, they assign a bed. So they're welcome to stay home every day. They stay if they want to. Then after that, we have the second program, which is the emergency house. In here, we, they're allowed to stay at least up to three months. We help them to look for food stamps, to find a job, medical insurance, all that. Here at the emergency house, we have a case worker who is the person that takes them if they need a pic uh, picture ID, take them to DMV to get it. This is an example of uh, the emergency housing where they have their room. Most of them will come here at six and, you know, eat and, and then at 10 o'clock they're supposed to, you know, come to their room and, and stay and read a book or do whatever they want to do. Casa Ruby uh, helped me with the housing. By being in Casa Ruby, I've learned how to budget my money, not to spend on some unnecessary stuff that I don't need. Without Casa Ruby, I would be probably on the street <laughs> now. Once the client has shown commitment to receive help and strive for a better life, Casa Ruby offers them transitional housing so they can get back on their feet and go back to society. This is one example of the rooms that um, we house the young people. This is how the room is kept. It should be clean, it's, it's made up, it's comfortable. They have heat, air, um, closet space, so they don't have to do too much of anything, but just come and live and, and get their lives together. Okay, this is a shared bathroom. This is one of the areas that they have to keep clean because they are sharing this, 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 this bathroom. These young people come from broken families, issues with immigration, problems with drugs, or just discriminated against for their sexual orientation. La Casa Ruby me ha apoyado dándome un techo, también legalizarme aquí en Estados Unidos. Me ha ayudado a seguir adelante con los papeles. ¿va? Casa Ruby me salvó la vida gracias por este programa que me ha apoyado mucho. He salido adelante por este programa. The work is not finished. There is a limit of beds in these houses, but the kids keep coming in daily, needing a place to stay. Ruby and her team are actively looking for more funding to provide a better future for the youth. The mission is to make sure that LGTBs have a place to stay in the winter or even in the summertime, whatever they need to do in order to get their lives on progress. I want to ask of you to please be part of this dream. The Casa Ruby family needs your support. Casa Ruby will never give up on the LGBT community in Washington, D.C.